Right. He's ready for Freddie. Mm -hmm. He was the undertaker. Little Abner. Wow, boy. Yeah, Little Abner. Yeah. I remember that guy. <laughs> I like that cartoon. You're going to give me time. Welcome. Welcome very, very much to Conversation. A pleasure to welcome to the program. Yusuf Salam. He's, a, uh, he's, a, he's got a very interesting take on the human condition. He's got a very interesting life that he's led. And he is a, a writer, and he's also an academician, and he's also a member of the, uh, of the Islamic faith and has a great deal of understanding of all of those things. And you have to welcome so much to conversation. Well, thank you. Thank Pleasure you Pleasure to welcome you to the program. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Now, I'm really glad we were able to get together. And I wonder if you could share with me, young man, because I know you're younger than me. Uh, as most of humanity is, but uh, uh, but you've got a few years in you. But uh, could you share your own background? Born and raised, yes. I guess it was down south. You were yes, part sir. of the migration or something, but uh, you yes. were down south and share your own background. And then we'll talk about your take on the human condition and particularly understanding of this phenomena of Islam, which you are adherent to and have a great deal of understanding of the significance of. Okay. Well, I was, I was raised in, uh, I was born in uh, New York at Harlem Hospital. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And I was uh, raised in a town called Lumberton, North Carolina. How did it happen? You went that way. Most of the migration came up from the South to New York. Well, something occurred with my parents. So my grandmother had to come up and get me. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that and happens. Then. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Yes. And so I was raised there in Lumberton um, as a Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Presbyterian, <laughs> Presbyterian, yes. Presbyterian. Yes, and that was the apartheid south. Yeah, Fred yeah, right, right, right. You know, and uh, that town is about 32 miles from Fedville, Fort Bragg. Oh, well, Fort yeah. Bragg, that's, yes. that's Marine. Army. Is it Army? Army, yes. Army. Fred Bragg is Ray? Yes. What Army. is he, Marines? Where's Marines? I'm not sure. I thought Lejeune, Lejeune in Is that Lejeune? You're right. I yeah, think you're right. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Fort Bragg, yeah. And so. Uh, airborne. A lot of airborne at Fort Bragg. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's they fly right. out of air. They jump out of airplanes. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. I didn't want to do and that. And then um, I went to high school down there. After, the t after I graduated high school, Yeah. I uh, came back to New York. How did you like it down there? You would have been 15, 16, 17, something yes. like that? Yes. Well, look, it, it would with the mind that I had, of course, of being an adolescent, I, I enjoyed it. You did? I enjoyed it. You know, I lived in a, kind of a rural town. Yeah. That, uh, Lumberton had maybe had maybe about 20,000 people, maybe 15,000 yeah. people at that time. A lot of beautiful scenery. A lot, a lot I think of, of timber and nature and the whole nine. Yeah, I, yeah. I lived right by the woods, actually. Yeah, yeah. And I stayed in the woods a lot. I really you did. Enjoyed being you go in the fishing woods. in the creeks? And fishing all that? and just going and just get away from the sun in the summertime. Yeah, right. You know, and just. David Thoreau, you yeah, know, yeah, Thoreau climbing trees and yeah. listen to the gurgle of the water. The, I was the good ditch. at climbing trees. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I, I love that. I, looking back, I can't, I can't think except the poverty. You know, mm -hmm. I talked about that. No, you, yeah, 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 you didn't have running water. We didn't have running water. Most of was the was that common. It was common. Not to have running yeah, water. Running water. Or I, you didn't have electricity. No, no electricity. A toilet the outside, uh, out uh, toilet. They used to have a thing called a privy. Well, we had a hole in the ground. Yeah. Well, this was a thing with a, a shed over it, and it's still a hole in yeah, the ground. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, like that. And pump water. Pump water. Pump water, yeah. you know. So yeah. most of us lived in that kind of a situation. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the population in general? Uh, the or you were, you, were, you were black. Uh, you, I, I so always, you I, had to suffer some things. That I would say the African-American and, Af and the, and the, uh, the so-called Lumbee uh, Indians. Yeah. Oh, you 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 partly Indian back? No, no. I'm an no. African American. Yeah. But yeah. I say they they live in those similar conditions. Oh, they live. Yeah. In those similar conditions of poverty. Yeah. Still do. And a lot of the things has improved since 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 the civil rights movement. Yeah. And I go down there now. It's much friendlier. Yeah. And people are living. I would say I have to say much better. Yeah. Because when I in my the, the roads in my in my neighborhood were all dirt. Yeah. Down there paved and things yeah. like that. Yeah. You know? But what was it? You went from the north to the south. And back did up. You, and you were at what age did you go there? I went down south at three. Oh, at three. Yes. Well, then you're just young. You were really yes. raised down there. You didn't yes. have much remembrance we, of no, three. No, absolutely you know, you're not. You young uptown, yeah. upstate. Yeah, absolutely. And then when did you get back up north? I came back up north after high school, 1965. I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And your remembrance of th those days was always, did you run into any racism or anything well, down there? Yes, I, I ran into it. Uh, I, won't, I won't go into any kind of anecdotes, but because yeah. um, I, I, I was a very uh, kind of rebellious guy. 
And Good uh, for you. You know, yeah. so yeah. my grandmother saw that I, I was headed for trouble when it comes yeah. to white people, yeah, yeah. because I would I would Shirney, fight, Shirney, I would, Shirney I would and fight yeah. and things like that. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and were you were you, you you're seventy now, right? I'm seventy now. So yes. I'm trying to quit the f age thing with Schwerner and all of that, and and what was going on with Reverend King and all that I was kind in of the, stuff. I think I was in and the north the, then. Yeah, you were up north by then, mm -hmm. but you so but you were you were you were. You were living in a, a, a segregated mentality or not? Or was it sort of back in the forest so it was more human? It than was segregated, segregated, no doubt about it. You know, it and it was racist? Oh, yes, yeah, to the bone, yes. Yeah. Uh, you lived on one side and whites lived on the other side. You went to the movies, you had to go on one side and the whites on the other side. Did you have to sit up in the balcony or something? Yes, up in the balcony. We all on one side and the, and the Lumbee people on the other side and the Caucasians That's downstairs. when you're, you're 15, 16? 15, 15 and 16. Didn't you have, did, let me just ask you, because I've been, a, I've been I'm a wasp, you, okay. know, and, you know, and I've never had anything like that. Didn't that, didn't that get under your skin or something, having to put up with that? I'll use the term, if you don't mind, in the audience. I'm going to use it, and if you want to, take the kitties out of the room for a second. That bullshit yeah. about... You sit up on the balcony and all the rest of the things you had to put up with. Were you? Well, uh, well, you know, you, 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 you. What was your attitude toward? Well, that? you acclimated. You don't think about it. You acclimated to that. You do. You're born. You're born into that. You're raised into that. So, you don't really think about it. But I think subconsciously you do. And this is why I had it. Well, subconsciously and consciously, because what would have happened if you had wandered into the. Uh, the, the seats where the king of the county is supposed to be sitting or something down there, well, you that, would that have run into real trouble. But consciously, I don't recall ever thinking about this is wrong. Uh, but you don't? I don't think I ever said that out loud. Uh -huh. I do, I, but I know by my action that subconsciously it, it did, it did uh, nag me and irritate me because I, I, I had several confrontations with, with white males, Caucasian males. And Fist of Cups, did it come to Fist, Fist of Cups? Cups? yes. You did? You did yes. have fights? Well, then uh, apparently you got, you well, got, come you to got, you got your dander up. It, it was going there. Yeah, it, it didn't yeah. go there, but it was heading there. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying as yeah. somebody who had to put up with that. Yes, yes. I just yes. don't know how. Yes. I had a hell of a time being a wasp. <laughs> I don't know how anybody was being, you know, like Jewish yeah, or something, yeah, or, or yeah. the prejudice directed mm -hmm. at somebody who have to kowtow to the stupidity of it. Yeah, yes. Looking back now, yeah, yeah. very stupid. Right. Very infantile. Yeah, down there you had suffered that and everything. Yeah. That. How was the family setting? It was beautiful. That, that, that those are the thing that keep well, you. Who were you with down in in, in I was South? with my grandmother. Then I had uncles. Was she any good at all? Oh, she was beautiful. Could she make biscuits? Oh, she could do all that stuff. Yeah, good, yeah. good Christian Our woman. Our grandmother's wonderful. Yeah, good Christian woman. And yeah. So was at church every day. School every every Sunday to church. Every day to school. Was there a dog? We had a dog. Was there a dog? An old hound or what kind? I don't of know dog? what kind he was, <laughs> but I know we loved him. Dogs yeah. are really great, and cats yeah, and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. So it, you, it was good. You, I heard you say there were some fisticuffs with. Uh, Almost, and that's one Almost. reason I was you sent come up. Close. That's one reason I was sent up here because they saw my grandmother. You were heading for trouble. She knew it was dangerous because you got your dander up. Because I was willing. I was not willing to. You weren't willing to kowtow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kowtow. That's what happens in China. That's in China. Yeah. Over across the world, they're also having to do kowtow. Yeah. And all the prejudice are such a pain in the neck that have been. Uh, Part of the human condition, yeah, I guess, always for always, and yes, still sir. continues in the mind of a lot of people's minds. Right? That's right. Yeah. And your name? Uh, well, I, you know, my, well, my name is Yusef Salam now, but my enslaved name was Joseph Jones. Joseph, not Joe Jones. Well, it, they, they, they call me that. No, yeah, they Joe call me that. Jones. Joe but Jones sounds like yeah, just, that's so American. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, that yeah, could yeah, be a like lot a lot of lot of poetry to it with the JJ in it. You know? Yeah, JJ yeah, Jones. Yeah, that's mm, a, that yeah, sounds like yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you could. Yeah. And you, that was the name you were using when you oh, were down south? Yes, uh, d yes, until I became a Muslim at 21. At 21, you, at 21 and that yeah. was up here? Yes, yes. And uh, where, where did you, did you come back up to Well, New I settled back to Harlem where I was born at. And you have family here and stuff? Or yes, a community I, I'm, here? I, I, you're married with children. And, my, and I attended the Mosque of Islamic Brotherhood in Harlem. Well, wait a minute. Let's slow down a little. You had some education. You had to go to high school. Yeah, I finished and high school down there. And you went to a university. Oh, you did? I, I you finished, finished at CCNY. And how was the education? Were you, was it... Was were you was it segregated education like well, they well, used to have with that? Well, well, who was yes. that guy? Who was that guy down south? Really, the part that would stand in the, on the and then they had the education black blacks and whites and that stupid guy down in the far south. The Re one uh, Wallace? No, George so, Wallace. You know George Wallace. Was yeah. that the one who stood in the gate and yeah, segregation, segregation forever? Segregation now and segregation forever. 
Did okay. you have any of that stuff put in your face and everything when you were down there? Or? Well, not 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 bold like that, but it was there. You know, it was yeah. there. It was just there mm -hmm. environmentally. Yeah. Right? But educate you speaking about education, yeah. and that was very important for us to go to school. Like I say, you could get you get your education, and nobody could take it from you. Uh, so yeah. I did finish. I did finish high school. I would, they had the white high school, the Caucasian high school, which was Lumberton High, and we went to James Hazel, which is named after a very well-known cleric. Which was a better school, you think? Well, this school was better because uh, they yours had was better than theirs. The other? Theirs was better. Yeah, well, curriculum-wise, yes. Because they had all the languages and they had laboratories for language. They had science laboratories. And we, we got their cast off schools with their books. And we get their books, and, and the white kids' names had written be, all in it. With they their had name, written it. With yeah. Their, yeah, with their names and everything. They had first go at the books, but you had yeah. the same books. Well, it, and you got their added notes, their added notation. <laughs> I mean, you got no, you get, you no, know. I don't see no, it like no. that. No, well, if, if you if you taxpayer, yeah. if you're talking separate but equal, yeah, right. give give us equal in the schools too. I never you know, did like, like school. I, love I never, school. I never liked school. I love school. I, I, I love learning. I I loved learning. I loved. I, I would learn at home. I thought school was just a pain in the neck because uh, well, uh, I like the know, social, me, the socialization, the socialization. Yeah, that's of true. They did socialize. Friends and sports and you know the girls and you know the whole night like that. You, you love know. girls? Sure, of course. Well, okay. Course. Have you talked this over with your psychiatrist? And <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that we got certain yeah. characteristics that are characteristic of the whole of us all and everything mm -hmm. like that. But it's terrible to have had to. It seems to me to have had to suffer that kind of thing. For somebody who didn't have to, I, like yeah. me, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. I was uh, mm -hmm. privileged, I guess, mm -hmm. and we probably don't understand that enough. Detroit, we had a lot of problems mm -hmm. with that. Yeah, I didn't even realize it. You know, I, w I went away to university and whatnot, and I got drafted for a while, and I didn't know. But there was a lot of trouble in Detroit because we had a lot of people up there working. Mr. Ford's, mm -hmm. Mr. Ford used to tinker in my grandmother's garage when he was about eight years old mm -hmm. before right? he took off. Oh, wow. Yeah, she was on 16th Street. I've seen Street. picture that on Channel that 13. That grandmother of mine, my daddy's mother, she was uh, the one who graduated first, broke the glass ceiling for the ladies as mm -hmm. a, a doctor, no. a medical, full-fledged yeah. doctor yeah, physician, uh -huh. at the University of Michigan Medical College in 1888. Uh -huh. She was of strong stuff, you know. And you told me earlier that that's... A, uh, Mr. Muhammad got it started in Detroit. If you he got started, as I understand. Yes. I did quite a bit of things with. I had from Bob. Uh, I have a lot of black friends. I guess mm -hmm. uh, Akbar Muhammad, yeah, Sophie yes. Carmichael, a whole yes. lot of. And then that's been a big theme among black yes. people. Is yeah. all what's going on. Yeah. Mr. I, King I used, I used to and work all at, the, the yeah. civil rights stuff has been a big issue of our time. Yeah. I used to work at Akbar's bookstore. Yeah, where? Uh, uh, Akbar Muhammad. Akbar, yeah. He had, oh. a, he had a bookstore on 116th Street. In I Harlem. didn't know that. I didn't and I, know I, I, at 21 years old, I'm first coming to, to Islam. Was uh, he there at the he, store? He, he had, it was his store. Uh huh. And, and he I, was there. I mean, yeah. he wasn't just doing it, it in No, no. And, no. I, and I worked there for him. That's how I learned, you know, as I met him. Do you, do you still correspond with him? Not he's in St. Louis now. Yeah, he's he's big man. He's running all around the world now. Yeah, you he's know? all over, yeah. Mr. Farrakhan's an, uh, international representative. So he's invited. But I went to Sudan with him. You went to where? Sudan. Sudan, wow, below Egypt. Right? Yeah, I went there yeah. with him because they was investigating the, the charges of slavery, uh, and he invited me to come there. That's why by that time I was a full-fledged journalist by that well, time. Well, by then you're talking 20, 25 years old or something, or what? I may have been 30. 30. 30, yeah. something like that. And you were interested in those issues? And yes. When did you get interested in the Islam? Like I said, because you were an American boy. I was 21. And, and had you and had anything to do with Islam no. before that? No. No. Were you wild? Uh, but, but what did I, you have to do time? I was wild. Did you ever did you no, ever get thrown in jail for being drunk or anything well, like that? Fighting. Or fighting. Yeah, fighting, yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. But 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 I was I was a, what you would call maybe um juvenile delinquent. I feel your muscle. No, feel you make your muscle. Oh no. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, yeah. I was like you what you call a juvenile delinquent. You were a juvenile and delinquent. And so this so the, the, the prototype Islam that Mr. Muhammad taught rescued me from that. Uh -huh. So I mean I stopped drinking, stopped well, being wild. Oh, you used to drink heavy, did you? Oh, weekends. Uh -huh. You know, but uh, you did know. Did you ever drink mo moon, moonlight, or what do they call it? Uh, <laughs> moonshine. It was down home. Yeah, down home, up yeah. in the still, up yeah. in the hill. Yeah, yeah. They, the they, still they on the that. hill. Yeah, yeah they, they would sell that, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So he rescued, that teaching was vital in my life. He rescued me from that particular, that particular lifestyle. Yeah. And getting some discipline in my life. 
and uh, sobering, becoming a sober human what being. What a I talk about you. You went south. You was your grandmother, I thought. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what about on the male side, your dad and stuff? Was well, I, like I told you before, I, I, I really never really saw my dad. I knew my mom, though, but not my is dad. Is that okay? Uh, what is that? What What do you think of that? Do you think the male presence in the uh, upbringing of young men, let's in, just say, in general, yes. I what think do you, it, you think? It's a problem that they don't have. In general, not just black, white, or anything. Yeah, in but, general, yeah. But uh, the male representatives of, uh, you know, for, for as examples or of guiders yes. of the uh, overall social organization of things. Well, I, I was We talk a lot about mother. Everybody, didn't mother. you love your mother? Of course. Yeah, wasn't she wonderful? Yes. Aren't all mothers wonderful? All Grandmothers are even better than mothers sometimes. Mm -hmm. They give you candy and everything like that. But the father in the male side is a little different proposition different, or something. And what's our thought on that? And some of the people have things about how you got to beat sense into them or some so You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In a male kind of way, mm -hmm. instead well, the, the, of the, the, loving, well, how uh, I that's, was that's feminine or something. Well, how I was blessed was yeah. I had great uncles. Uncles. You know, so the uncles are a little removed, yeah. No, no, my uncle was very, very, the one in the, in the house, he was very, very important in my life. Okay. And then the working, working yeah. person. Yeah. Non-drinking person. Yeah. You know, and I had other uncles, two more uncles. Did so you have moonshine? I, I, well, I, did you have I never saw them drink, but I did drink. You like, did like, drink. As I got older. Yeah. But, I did, yeah, I but never, isn't that a standard thing among young men? They go yeah, out and, trying to show you and push the envelope yeah, yeah, and push yeah. their manhood and all yeah, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. They, women don't realize. They got it so easy, you mm -hmm. know? Women yeah. have it so easy. Everything just comes to them, yeah. and, they're, and they're so nice and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Men are the trouble, I think. Yeah, but like I What say, do you think on that? I don't know if we're the trouble or not, but yeah. in reference to the father piece, like you said, the father's important. But uncles can play a, a great role in that absence. Yeah, but in terms of the ones who make the mess in the world, it's mostly the men, I think. Well, Women are doing things like breaking bread and doing nice things and crocheting and all of this. But and I the th men I are out there fighting and killing each other and all that kind of stuff. That male function. And I think the women are starting to rebel, don't you? You see where the women are really getting all... You're in, you're in theater, aren't you? Yes. You know, there's right a lot there. of men pushing them on the ladies, the young yeah. ladies, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, because I'm they got a power that, yeah. structure and all that. And they're starting to fight back on yes, that. They I are. think that's good, that's, don't you? That's very good. Yeah. But my philosophy is this here that yes, sir. men are in power, so and they're misusing the power, and I'm not sure. Maybe if, more women should and, and be in power. No, than I, I, there I, is. I disagree. I think. Oh, that, you disagree. I think it's women. You keep get the women down. No, what pregnant I'm, in the kitchen. Is that what, what we should no, do? No, what I mean no, is that if women got that. the opportunity to have the yeah. same power, would they be different? Would they be? Different? Or would they just be? If they be the average human being and abuse their power also? You see? Women are soft. I don't know when they get the power. Uh, You've got to get the power. They, I don't think I've ever known the, a, power, the, the, a woman the, the in human, my life that had the power. It, it, it still my be a, sister, my sister used to try and be the power. It would be a human. Not my goal, my big sister. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She was different. I had a big sister. She was perfect mm -hmm. big sister. Yeah. You know? Yes, yes. Stately. And and looked out for me. That other one who could, she could beat up on me. Okay. She was bigger than me and she could beat up on me. Mm-hmm. Yes, but I think it's. A, it's, a, it's a, I would it's like to have to put up with a little yeah. a sister that is bigger and stronger than you and could beat up on you. Yeah, I think it's a question of power. It's Who really a power, question yeah. to your manhood or something. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of making a joke to my sister Shirley, who's my dear friend. Yes, I mean, she's yes, good. Yes. But no, it was it was perfect. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was a perfect relationship. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I'm trying to read that into the human condition. Mm -hmm. And how 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 are we going to deal with this? testosterone problem well I don't I have no idea um, like I say maybe I, we could give men shots I, uh, shots in the arm I mean you get rid of all that baloney testosterone or the male function maybe do a shot of morality that's what we need morality. a, sh a shot of morals yeah a shot of ethics Ethics. Now yes. you're talking. Yeah, that's, yeah, talking that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. I mean, on, did a on both bit. sides, on both yeah. sides, the female and the did male. Did you shoot craps in the in the bar and stuff? You know. No, it was no. You didn't get into the gambling and stuff. No. Did you run a still or anything? Oh no. <laughs> no. What, what what were you doing down there? I mean, I, I, I just told you. I was adolescent. I was a kid. I didn't do much but do it. Adolescents can be really awful. You know. Well, I never liked teaching. Did you like teaching? I mean, do you like school? 
I did. I hated yeah. school. Yeah, I loved school. They yeah. just sitting there, and you had to sit there, and they're telling you to do this and that, and mm -hmm. all I wanted to do was go play baseball or something. Mm -hmm. But I love school. I, I still study. Well, it very takes all kinds. I still it? study voraciously right now. I still read. Oh, I got nothing read, against uh, studying, study. but I just like doing it. On well, my that's own. how I first learned how study was through school. I guess I got it was. You think introduction, so? Introduction, introduction. I didn't. Now, for whatever it's worth, and this may be just baloney. I'm just r ruminating and talking about the human condition and everything. But I didn't have to do it because it seemed to me boring from the stimulation of the house. The house was alive with talk. Okay, okay. And everything. Oh, wow, and we, had the, we had the Encyclopedia Britannica, mm -hmm. and we had the okay, great that's books. That's a difference. See, that's a difference. Yeah. And there was always intellectual. And you know what else we used to do? Uh -huh. This really happens. I mean, people can't believe it. These, they're so jaded, the youth now, it seems to me. I guess the younger, uh, older generations have always thought that I don't know what this generation is coming to. Do you ever hear that? Sure. Yeah, all the time. But th this is what we used to do. I had the best mother in the history of the world. Perfect, perfect. But she was intellectual, so. Yeah, well, she was yeah. intellectual. Uh, and a wife, home, and, a, and a home wife, housewife, kind of? Well, no, she was, I think she had actually been a little bit um, favored by the society. She used to ride horses, and she That's used to I'm take trips to Cat, you know, everybody. And she was a perfect mother. Yes. And you know what she would do? Well, this is what we would do. She, w we had a piano, and she would sit and she'd play the piano, and this was we, and we would lock arms, and we would sing. Yes. See, Home now, on the range and that kind of thing. See, that's Can the you difference. Imagine? They would never think of doing that yeah. now. And that's the difference, see, between. You know, and, and, and the dog would howl, and we'd laugh, and it was just warm, and then we'd have uh, arguments over coffee and discussions and laugh and. Play, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So it was boring to go to school for me because the house oh, wow. was so stimulating. Well, school for me was exciting. Yeah. I, I'm trying to tell you the difference. School for me was like a prison. But see, the thing, like you were saying, you was the middle of the middle class. So you had, yeah. all, that, you had all that intellectual. A little bit toward the upper middle yes. class. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so you had that privileged uh, atmosphere. I had, a, I had an atmosphere that everybody ought to have, if you ask me. Yes. but in Not my, enough people have but that. But my atmosphere it's was poverty, remember. Remember, mine is poverty. Well, so, I, so I don't have that. So when I get to school, I'm going into the light now. I think the solution is do away with poverty. Yes, Why we don't we do, do away? We ought to do away with poverty. I yes. think we could do that now mm -hmm. in a way we've never been able to. They always had poverty. Yes. But yes. I, I'm just thinking here out of the top of my head and everything like that. But I had that privileged upbringing. But yeah, the family right. was just wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So you was getting, you was, you was getting educated right there in your home. Yeah. Yeah, now you can get educated in your own home, and you don't have to go to no school. They're trying to teach you to do something. And it was sort of like the Army. Did you ever have to do the Army? My dad was in the military. You have to, no. I got drafted. Yeah. I was a very bad soldier because they got all these people ordering you to do things in a disciplined way. Mm -hmm. From an out, It's called outer-directed, right, rather than inner-directed. People ought to be free to do what they want is what... I sort of think is a good way for there to be more than fitting into some pattern that sociologically, or politically, or, or just historically is in place to make you become something other than what you want to be. I, I'm just thinking uh, out the top of my head. Well, military can't do that. You know, military got to have that, that kind of discipline. That's why I didn't like the military. Like it, yes. Mm -hmm. I think we ought to do away with the military. I mean, we, wh why don't we have a peaceful world rather than all this fighting going on? We should, on? should ideally, but I think there's some problems left, don't you, don't you think? Plenty of problems. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But anyway, these are all thoughts that I didn't mean to take you off, it's and okay, I was, no, I was keying no. off you because you have a, a different background, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then there's a whole lot of people that have that background. A lot of. I people. bet that thing about the poverty and everything mm -hmm. is probably rep is representative of the vast majority of the world. And let me get back to the education just please, for one minute. Please, by all means. The, the fact that uh, when I was in school, I loved to read. Well, I, I love to read, to but read. I, I didn't like to sit in. You have to sit in a row, yeah, and they're yeah. there, and then you all have to do the same damn thing. Yeah, but I enjoyed it. Was it was boring. I loved it. I loved it with a passion. But isn't that interesting? Yes, and it's, you got to remember you had a different kind of teachers, too. Those African-American teachers had mission. They saw themselves as on a mission. Well, that's something well, to get you straightened out. To, 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 because to, they think to, to that you're going to be running wild. Well, no, here it is. And you're not, no, you no. can't do anything by your here's own where volition it comes from. because you're going to no, get in trouble. It comes from the fact that during the holidays. It's like cops. 
but it comes from the fact that during the Holocaust of enslavement, we yeah. weren't allowed to read. That's right. We weren't allowed to get education. That's right. So two generations or three generations later, well, here comes me, and these teachers now still had that mission, you're going to learn something. You, we're not going to go back. To, That's but, like the nuns in chat. Well, no, no, the not like that. The nuns can be very vicious. No, they weren't, it wasn't that type of thing. It was no. that they, they, sti lady they still saw themselves as having that mission to educate. From those first schools that that, that was uh, that was that was built, you, you understand My me? My saying is, go educate yourself. Is they're going to tell oh, me no. what I have to no, do you can't, and everything? You can't like take that. a people who just come out of the, uh, out, out of enslavement and tell them to go educate themselves. Well, humanity is, if I may, we're just re reminiscing. Yeah, now. just talking. And we got to yes. get down. In fact, that you're a writer and everything, and yeah, also about that, is, yeah. uh, Islam and everything, because you're a man who got a great deal of thing. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe we're emerging from. What if we had a world where the whole world was like um, it was with me? You, you know, there's enough. There's water, hot water. There's this, there's that, there's this, there's security, there's a blanket, there's a dog, there's a cat, there's a, uh, you know, all. It, they, I have. What does it mean to be a have? We talk have about not. have and have not. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been limited in the ability we've been able to provide a have like kind of existence for vast numbers of the population, mm -hmm. they had to go out and prove their worth to get something. Mm -hmm. yes. So that's the major thing you teach them. Go out and work and be a responsible citizen by doing something you don't want to do to get money. Mm -hmm. Is that not the major lesson that the, the, they're, they're, they're conveying? Yes, mm -hmm. and that's one of the main Everybody things. should be able to sit around and do what they want. Uh. Well, this, see, this, you know. Um, now, that sounds, that sounds wrong, but I think there might be some right to that. Well, because you could, people can do, if somebody's doing something they really want to do, it's different than doing some chore that you have to do. Now, the learning of the irregular verbs. Did you get all your Latin irregular verbs down? I never could do it. Very not well. all of them. But or, or they're trying to get you to do some specific thing, and they think that's education. And I, I don't like education well, because education. you're in rows of seats. You're all sitting in yeah. the same thing. And well, like I say, it's a, it's, a, it's a class difference between you and I. Well, you it's see, not it's, a... Th it is. It's actually a class difference because you're talking about a privileged privilege class, WAPS class, as you said. Well, I don't think it's privilege. It ought to be just standard procedure. But that's not what the reality That's not what it was, you see? Okay, now what we may be talking about... So, 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 we may so, be so talking you're, bored, you're bored in the classroom. I'm just as happy as I can be. I'm happy. I'm I'm excited. You see? Oh well, I'll from be the, from the first no, to the twelfth okay, grade. Okay, let's get it straight, okay? Because if I'm at the feet of somebody who's really lecturing, really interesting, I'm very very interested in somebody who's got something to say. But mm -hmm. I'm not interested in having rules put down on me. Mm -hmm. Well, you got, you, got you know what I'm saying? You you got to the, the, the irregular verbs and all. I never could follow. Okay, yeah, that's and a they're going to yeah. do this, 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 mm -hmm. this, and it's part of called education. It's really mm -hmm. teaching. Yeah, to that, be, that, that's that's a point. It's really teaching people to be specialists or doing things in a military kind of way of they call it learning. Mm -hmm. But you get an environment where you've got everything available to you. Then you learn. If somebody's doing what they want to do, is different than somebody doing it like a quarry slave. I don't think all those. I, I've often thought I could, and we're talking about Islam, and there was a lot of Islam going out in Egypt and all that, right? Mm -hmm. And I've thought often about those big pyramids. That <laughs> I mean, they didn't have any trucks, and they didn't have any cranes, and they didn't have any of the things we have now to build these great skyscrapers mm -hmm. with such alacrity here in New York and everything. They had people, they had these great big pieces of rock. There's going to be a drag a million of them over to get a big pyramid mm -hmm. made. And mm -hmm. you got about 10,000 uh, people out there pulling on that rock. I cannot believe in that hot sun. I cannot believe they liked doing that. Well, they well. would have rather laid at the, uh, you know, with the... Uh, with some wine and a love, uh, you know, uh, what is the thing about, you know, there are many things they would rather do. I can't help thinking, I'll bet that was done under dint of military requirement, it almost uh, similar to like prison. Well, they were like slaves, is what my pre premise would be. Well, I like to think it could have been done also under the speech, under the person's uh, 
uh, spiritual beliefs. Well, that could be. You could use spiritual beliefs to hoodwink. I don't mean to use. I don't, I don't mean to use. I mean to that person. Uh, uh, oh, if they really believe they it. They believe, yes. If they they're do, doing yeah, something, yeah, or, they, or yeah. like uh, the Battle of Britain, or getting ready for some force that's at the gate, the enemies at the gate, yes, then you, you know, yeah, there's something to be said. If you got spiritual, I'm overstating it, right? Yeah, if, if you've got spiritual beliefs, you move a mountain. You, you know, you try to move a mountain. Don't try to move a mountain. You no, know, but you know, the greatest, a, which, which mountain? Which <laughs> mountain? There are, I got figure stuck. speech, you know, it's a figure well, speech. Well, I know. I got stuck you know. as a young man up in the top of Mount McKinley when I was young. I'd walk 40 miles, four days up into the wild above the trees in, in Alaska. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Gym shoes. Mm. And then the weather changed, and I, it was the most, the terriblest thing I ever did. Because the weather changed, and I, I didn't want to have anything to do with nature ever, ever again. Mm -hmm. I want cement. After the, because it was, I had to walk four days. I had walked up. Stupid, stupid mm -hmm. youth, right? Mm -hmm. And you, when you're young, you can do everything, you know? You've got that and everything. So maybe youth has to be, ex uh, uh, maybe youth has to be bent a bit and everything to responsibility. But I can't be of the opinion that if somebody's doing something they really want to do, that's when the good stuff happens. Well, you, you do do it. Usually, when you get out of school, you, you make some choices what you want to do. Yeah, but you make choices what you're going to do. The major choice you make is you're going to do something that's going to do something that's going to get you money. That's well, called responsibility. No, 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 and no. then you get the house and the kids and the thing and the, the doggy and everything by getting money from the people who have all the assets that well, are I there. Well, I choose to be an educator, and, and I, that's what I want to do. Oh, well, you're I'm an educator. Yeah, I'm a teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking to a teacher yeah, about yeah. Um, something. Yeah, and, and I'm a, you know. I would have been a bad. And, no, I wouldn't and, have been a and bad you want, teacher. You want, you, you, it's enough. You can make a, just enough money to make a living, you know, like that. That's what I want to, and I, and I wanted to be a writer. No thing that made me happy. Well, that's like being an artist. That's like satisfied being, me, That's a whole know? different proposition. Being an artist, you can't. If you're a real artist, you can't drag them away from the canvas or what yeah. they're. You know, something creative. But so many of the things people have to do. Mr. Ford used to tinker in my grandmother's garage, and then he built this whole thing, Ford Motor oh, yes. Company. They made yes. and the guys had to stand there like quarry yeah. slaves, mm -hmm. and they had to say all day long, "Turn this nut, mm -hmm. turn this nut, turn this nut." This it can't have been something that was fulfilling. Well, we don't know. The, we don't know each individual, so we can't say. No, that's true. We can't. You Some can't, people maybe like that. At yeah, least it yeah. gives you a sense. Of and get a good salary. You unionize. I mean, well, that's you know, different. You know, see. How about just giving them some money without them having to turn the nut and then let them do what they want? Well, no, nobody's going to do well, that. You don't think we can ever have a liberated society where everybody? Maybe can your do children what can do want? that. Maybe they'll, they'll sacrifice whatever they want. Yeah, but to maybe do. the time of the children is coming. Yeah. Now, it's been 200,000 years our, our, our species has been here. But you know, Mr. Muhammad worked in now. Was Mr. Oh, yeah, let's talk about he Mr. Muhammad. He worked for Muhammad. Ford, too, yeah. yeah. But did, you want to talk about the book? Yeah, what, yeah, what? by all means. The Devil and Elijah, Elijah Muhammad. Muhammad. Elijah yes. Muhammad is associated with yeah. the Nation of Islam. Yes, and I was and a I part of I got off on a bunch of stuff. And I was a part of the Nation of Islam. Okay, talk to me about it. From the time it. I was 21 to about 24. Yeah. And then his son came in. You came back up north, huh? Yeah, I'm north now when yeah, this yeah. happens. And yeah, where in Detroit? No, in where? Harlem. In Harlem. Harlem, New, New York. York. You yes. came to the big town. Yeah. Yes, and back where I was born at. Yeah. I was born at Harlem Hospital, remember? Yeah, yeah. And um, so I, I joined the Nation of Islam. Is that where Malcolm marched to with a bunch of people one time? Did yes, he was a. That was a major that, that was, march. That, that, that was uh, after I came up. He was dead by the time I got up. Yeah. By the time I got up, he was dead. I wasn't part of that. I see. Yeah. You know, I, I was part of the Nation of Islam when Mr. Farrakhan was That was, was a major thing he did, though. I think. Yeah. I th in my mind, it, yeah. they marched in discipline order. Into, into the police department. And he, get, yeah. he brought a Precinct. discipline to it. Yes. That, so that's probably belying the things I was trying to say yes. about fr flight and fancy free yeah. and all that. Yeah. But when I came in there, Mr. Louis Farrakhan was there. Was, he had yeah. taken Malcolm's place. Uh -huh. And uh, Did yeah. you know or associate with Malcolm? or No, I, like I said, he was dead when I got up here. Yeah, but had you been inspired by him? No, I didn't know anything had about Had you been inspired by Martin King? Had you been inspired well, by Well, no, because I'm, I'm, I'm just out of high school. I knew about, I didn't know anything about Dr. King. By the time I got up here, he, 65. What was going on in 60? Well, there was a lot going on in 65. It was going on, but the South, the newspaper don't, they, don't keep you over that council. So they uh, block right. that stuff out. You know? uh -huh. But like I said, I was, uh, then I became a, a Sunni Muslim. Under the leadership, uh, under the leadership of uh, Elijah's son, Elijah's son, Emil Wark D. Muhammad. Okay. Uh, and so he brought us into the, into. Uh, Elijah's son. Yeah. Elijah Muhammad's son. Yes. 
He took over after Elijah died. I see. Okay, and, okay, and, okay. Yeah. And, and the no. son, son said, well, my, everything my father taught was not true and not in accord with Islam. You and know. you taught, you, you learned under him or with? I, I, and then so I began to study under him. Uh-huh. And so now I'm becoming a Sunni Muslim, or what some people might call an Orthodox Muslim. Well, you follow oh. the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and, yeah. and the Quran, of course, the, the, the book itself. Mr. Yeah. Muhammad didn't really teach you. When did you first pick up on the Quran as a major source of uh, well, inspiration? I would you? say after, after Mr. Muhammad passed, he didn't really teach the Quran. Go on. He yeah. taught basically economics. Who was the guy, Fard? Fard was the one that taught uh, Elijah Muhammad. Yeah, and he came from the east somewhere. And some say, say Pakistan. <coughs> yeah, right, mm, right. Say Pakistan. <coughs> but what this book does, it, it, is, it has two essays that talks about the importance of remembering Mr. Muhammad. Uh -huh. We shouldn't just throw him aside into the, into the trash can right, of history. Right, right. Uh, some of the great things he did. Well, he was an inspiration to a whole lot of people. Exactly, exactly. Ma uh, M M Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. uh, what was his name out of Detroit? Uh, that's what Malcolm X, Malcolm Little. No, no, he had a name, Nit Little or something. He had it was his, 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 his slave name was Little. Little, something Little. something. Malcolm Little. Malcolm, was it Malcolm? Malcolm Little, Was yes. it Little? He was out of Lansing or something. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Michigan, that's yes, where I'm sir. from, Michigan. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, um, and this book has two essays uh, dealing with uh, the importance of remembering Mr. Muhammad, the things that he taught. Maybe his religious thing was 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 not correct. Uh -huh. Is that that was not correct? Uh -huh. But what about the other things he taught about like, having, um, having human pride, mm -hmm. having having a, a balanced pride in self, a yeah. balanced ethnic pride. Uh -huh. um, Epic what, and eth ethical. Ethnic and and being ethical too. Yeah, right. Yes, yeah. and the importance of him teaching how to eat to live, how to eat right, because you know African Americans even today lead in as as victims of the most. Terrible diseases, heart failure, high blood pressure, kidney failure, and most of it because of lifestyle, including eating. Did I tell you that about my daddy? He died when he was 48. Did I tell yeah, you, you that? You told me about that. Yeah, yes, he you died. Did. That yeah. was the average age for a male, mm -hmm. born in 1899. So you can imagine what it, you can imagine what it, at that time what it must have been for an African American male. Probably worse. Huh? Yeah, Maybe. ten times worse. Yeah, yeah. You know? I don't, I don't know. I'm sure there's. I can assume. You can that. almost assume it. But we've gained about 30 years on that. From yeah. But I see it gained from science, you know. Mm -hmm. Streptokines was a yes. great thing. It'll just mm -hmm. blow it apart like Drano, right. or a clot or something. Yes, yes. But so um, that's what the, the, yeah. the, the first parts of the book talk about in the essay is about, don't, let's not throw, throw this man like he had no, he had, let's remember him as we remember King. Let's remember him as we remember Malcolm. Don't just act like, like he was just some well, race. He huh? inspired all these people. Well, not King, but he certainly, he, Kim and King met. Not King, no. no but right. they did meet. Yeah, right. And, right. They, they, they and respected. Yeah, met, yeah. In, met in his house. Who's not and they, and they agreed. King, yeah. They yeah. couldn't agree on the integration thing because Mr. Mama was not an integrationist. You know? But they did agree that, they, that the African Americans need to be empowered economically. Were you around when Malcolm was talking on street corners and everything no, like no, that? No, no. Yeah, well, I, you're I was too still, young. Yeah, I was in high school. Yeah. And you could have been. Well, I was, uh, I was down south of that. By oh. the time I got up here in 65, yeah, right. he was gone. You know, he was he something dead. else. But I did read him, read a lot of him, you know. And yeah. like his body. But he was inspirational in his body well, no language and his well, you lecture. You know, Mr. Muhammad, you know, Mr. he was a brilliant something, guy. Something peculiar about Mr. Muhammad is that, he, that? Is that he's the only African-American leader I know of hmm. who grew or uh, who inspired and grew famous men. One was Mr. Farrakhan. One is Malcolm. One is... Um, that's a couple of biggies. Yeah, these are, these are big. Yeah. One is his own son, and who's the other? I said, Mitch, and Muhammad Ali. Who is it? Akbar is his son, isn't he? He's got a son named Akbar. His son's Akbar. I yeah. think he's that. What's his name? Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's Akbar passed away, I think. Yeah, no, Akbar Muhammad is around. No, you, are you, no, I think you're talking about Akbar, who is not the son. His name used to be Larry. Well, I'm, I'm talking about Akbar, who is a uh, representative of Farrakhan. Yes. See, all over the world. And, not he, and was close with Gaddafi. But that's not Elijah Muhammad's son. Oh, he's not? That was one, one of Mr. Muhammad's uh, ministers. Oh, okay, okay. Who worked? Okay. Who, who was working out of a Corona. Who were the sons of Elijah? He had Wallace, who, who, who became Imam Warathi Muhammad. Oh, yeah. I remember right. one was Herbert. Yeah. Who was a boxing promoter with Ali? Yeah, and then Akbar Muhammad. Akbar, Akbar Muhammad was an academician and taught in the State University. Is that system. the guy who's in St. Louis now? 
No. No, not. A different no. Akbar Muhammad. Yeah, this is oh, the okay. son of Elijah Muhammad. Oh, I see. The Akbar you're talking about. Yeah, who is he? He was a he was one of Mr. Muhammad's ministers back in the back back. He's then. the one that was my dear friend. That's he's the one who is, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Smart guy. Yeah. And yeah. he's also Farrakhan's international representative. He and he knew uh he knew uh Malcolm. Malcolm, yes, he did. yeah, yes, and he, he did. also knew Stokely. Oh, yes. He Stokely did. Yeah, took yeah. the name, a different name. I forget what something it was. Something called Kwame. Kwame and Krum? Sekou no, Kwame or something Kwame like that. Kwame. Yeah. That was uh, Kenya, I think, or something. Man, but anyway. Yeah. Kwame Krum, he was uh He Ghani. was my friend. Yeah, yeah. I counted him my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, him. Anyway, so all of this going on and everything like that, and um, so... What is the uh, what is the, uh, the the legacy of him and the nation of Islam? How does the nation of Islam fit into the larger Ummah, of the larger thing? Help set us straight about where where Islam well, this is, is in terms of the world because it's a major issue confronting mankind now, th well, this particularly is over like in Israel and over the Middle East and all that. They're fighting Shia and Shia, Shui, Sunni, and all these mm -hmm. kind of things are being fought. And then there's always the Israel. Well, this is, is there this in the this middle of it all? Yeah. But this is the center a theme of the book. And, uh, you know, the, the center theme of the book is a play that was produced in Harlem. That, that was the name of the that play. That was your play written? My play, yeah, written. And, and, and that was, this is the basis of the play? The other, the play is in here, too, along with the two essays. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so this, this is, the, a lot of this is Im imaginative writing uh -huh, yeah. and along with facts. Yeah. And where Mr. Muhammad comes at a time, he has to make some decisions. Yeah. Based on what you just talked about, uh -huh. the world at at at, at, at all, uh -huh. and he got he has to not only look at what he called the devil on the outside, he has to also look at who the devils around him. Yeah, you know the, right. the, his followers. Yeah, first of all, you got some real following, so you got more responsibility when you got a lot of yes. following rather than just a few guys around the corner. And yeah. so this story is based on conflict and in, inner conflict and outer conflict, uh -huh. and I, how he deals with that as a leader. Your story is. Yes, how he deals with that as a leader. Uh, he's sometimes so busy looking outside that he doesn't see what's going on inside. And that's where... Oh, wait, outside, inside. What FBI, are you FBI, about? FBI, FBI, yeah. Jake Hoover at that time, yeah. who followed Mr. Muhammad like his shadow. Yeah, yeah. Day and night. Yeah. Even when he went to the bathroom. The, 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 the establishment goons were really uh, worried about that. Yeah, about him. Him. His teaching. Him and what he represented. Exactly. Possibly about maybe... Do you think there's worry about a a righteous, just uprising and attack upon the institutions that uh, form the basis of the racist American society or world society? Is something that the white people worry about? Well, you know, that there's going to be an, uh, an uprising by the oppressed, by the oppressed against those who are the oppressors. Well, you know, Cointel Pro. Counter intelligence Co program. Intel Pro was awful. Uh, uh, yeah, talked about a black messiah coming. Yeah, right, right. And that's and they saw people like this king and people like Mr. Muhammad as though people who could raise could raise up the uh, the African American masses. And they were worried about that. Well, it's yeah, African American masses. But it, uh, a larger thing is raise up the masses of the world who are beyond just the ra religion. But the vast majority of the people of the world, including the whole uh, the whole Uma, the whole world, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are oppressed yes. by the political organization of the planet. So yeah. there's death, uh, there's worry by the holders of positions of favor to what the historical patterns are and have been by the masters, mm -hmm. because it looks like they're getting uh, a, 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 they're getting they w the, the masses want to make a real revolution right. against the whole thing. Okay. Is that something that people are worried about? Uh, yeah, yes, and this is what this, yeah. this, this story is about here. Okay. But yeah. first, first, Mr. Muhammad. Maybe was, something like that is in the air. Yes. But Mr. Muhammad was basically concerned about raising up the African American first. Well, all right, but that yeah. would be. And then, and that then would the be world. some soldiers to put on the front line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what and he's concerned about first. Because he used to call us deaf, dumb, and blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a term that comes from the Quran. He was smart as a whip. He was with a fifth grade education. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a fifth grade educator. He had had a pretty rough. Uh, yeah. uh, he, he was he was pretty a uh, little bit pushing the thing that, uh, when he was young. He got in trouble a lot because he didn't before he got picked up on the uh, Islamic uh, thing. Well, he he, he it straightened him out. He, he was he up in Lansing and everything. Uh, yeah, Detroit. Then he came, 
the Detroit and Lansing. Okay. I think. Malcolm was in Lansing. He says oh, thinking about Malcolm. Yeah, Mal that's who yeah. I was thinking about. Oh, little? Malcolm, was his uh, name was Little? Yeah, Little. Yeah, yeah right. That was his yeah. slave name. Yeah. Yes. But Elijah didn't have any kind of police trouble. No, not Elijah. I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking. Only of time the, he, the only I was time thinking of the idea in a larger context yeah. that Malcolm was yeah. a danger. You're going to get these people. Yes. Yes. The people who are just being quiescent and going yes. quietly yes. and being bossed around are going to start saying enough already. And Mr. Yes. King was a representative mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. and everything. Yes. And it didn't get over into the American Indians who had a right to do that or mm -hmm. those people like them all around the world yes, in right. societies that are all That's almost right. universally yes. unjust in terms of the mass of the That's people. Right. That's, That's right. right. It's time That's for right. a massive revolution. Right. And, That's and what that scares afraid of, the bejesus yes, out of all the world uh, establishment. That's, you right. Know? That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. And Elijah Muhammad, he only got in touch, trouble with law enforcement when he refused to go to the army. Yeah. And, and they tried to draft him. So I he, couldn't get, do that. I tried. But, but he was too old. He was, he, was, yeah. he was 42 years old. But that was just a way to get, get him off the street. Yeah. yeah. Get him off from, from teaching what he was teaching. Yeah. So that's the only time he had any real serious problems with uh, uh, the, the law enforcement. Uh -huh. You know. But like I say, this book deals with him having to deal with the future. The book is a play. The book, the, the central of the book is a play. Yeah. Plus two, two, two uh, you, you, you call it a book, not a play. I is call it, it a screenplay. Or a, uh, it's a, it's or a rather regular uh, play. Not play. a screenplay, no. Not a screen, well, a, a, a stage, stage play. play. Exactly. That's what it is, really. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. How yes. many characters? What's the thing? Oh, it's How many about acts six. About, it's about, about five acts. And about maybe five characters. And it's played. It has. It is shown. It has, oh yes. How oh, many yes. times and where and everything? It, it was produced twice. Had uh -huh. two runs, and each time, uh, standing ovation, and and seats were filled. Were you there? Oh yes. Did they put you on a throne? And put oh, you up no, I don't want to be on the throne. I would have if I was my manager. And, and I would that, add you up on a thing with spotlights and everything, oh, and you could no, have stood up and. That, that. You could have gone that, like that, this. That, that corrupts. I don't want to get to get oh, there. That okay. corrupts. You know. Good. Maybe it's not uh, you. you. Know, yeah. Lower your head when, it, when it, they throw praise at you. Lower oh, you're your, a lower gentleman. Head you're a and, gentleman. And, and I see. Okay. Well, yeah. no, I'm just a Muslim, and that's yeah. what we're supposed to do. We're supposed a gentleman to be, Muslim. You're supposed to be humble. Yeah. And not not be. Oh, well, that stuff could cause that arrogance. Into me, it can cause yeah. arrogance. It can cause arrogance, and <laughs> you know, and it, that's what causes feed the ego. Yeah. Right. You're thinking you somebody. What about that? Do you think there's something wrong with that? That's more male. I think I think, I think, I think that's more ego male. is, uh, ego is good. We, uh, God gave us the ego so yeah but uh, not for it to be uh, corrupted and and you become the big eye right, right you know you feed the big eye you become corrupt and we, we say that's that's what happened to uh, is it becoming corrupt or has it always been corrupt or did it become I don't think corrupt, it was all corrupt. I or think was there a moment in time when it was just like the, the the little does were by the waterfall and everything was perfect and everything ever or are we coming up out of a, uh, like one of my favorite lines, people who listen to my program hear it all the time, is James Joyce. Mm -hmm. And he had Daedalus say, history is a nightmare of injustice. Yeah, that's true too. From which we're attempting to awaken. Mm -hmm, that's true. It's always been unjust, don't you think? No, I don't. Now, I, and maybe I don't in so. early tribal things where there was no civilization yet. But uh, the thing that let, I mean, because we've been here 200,000 years. Okay? But I, don't, I don't think we always 10,000 generations. That's a long time. I don't time. think we always been corrupt. I, you you got you see, I'm still talking from my Muslim perspective. Okay, by all means, that's important. Because we, we're taught that uh, uh, the, the humanity uh, through our first father, Adam, yeah. and our mother, Eve, yeah. that it was a perfect world. You didn't even have religion, so to speak. You just instinctively knew to do the right thing, to that's be peaceful. It, that's a belief. Yes. It's a belief. You see, I don't you, have that belief. You, you, yeah. you, inst you knew to do the right thing because Adam was already taught how to do the right thing. That's what he taught in what we call e Eden. Eden. We call it uh, uh, yeah, Garden, of, Garden Eden. of Eden. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then a force, or so you, we call Satan, and another time they call it yeah. the devil. Yeah. I just say the force. A force came by yeah. and fed the ego yeah. of Adam. Yeah. Uh, it corrupted the ego of Adam. And made and the trouble. Yeah. And made the trouble. Yeah. And, that, and that's where the trouble The trouble, began. time of trouble. But there, there was a time it, that it was just perfect until the ego got fed. Uh, to look for to, to look think, to look yeah. to for self, yeah. rather than what the creator said. Yeah. You're looking for for what what the self is saying. That creator, that's the thing. Like they would call God. God. That's what I'm talking about. So exactly. So you think there's that, right? Oh you, yes. Or you believe in a uh, God? Oh yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I believe uh -huh. there's a God. Yes, of course. 
Yeah, I don't. You're an atheist, but it's okay. No, I'm not an atheist. That's too mm -hmm. strong. I'm not an atheist. I couldn't okay. be an atheist because it's absolute. I'm a I'm an agnostic or okay. something. Mm -hmm. Or atheist, it couldn't be. That's absolute. Mm -hmm. Like God is an absolute mm -hmm. that okay. takes care of everything. And my thing is it's much more um, tentative than that. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, you know, it's a... I, I just think it's just that we're part of an evolutionary process. Mm -hmm. That's all. You know? I don't think God takes care of everything in that sense you're talking. Okay, maybe. I, maybe I think he gives us. Well, we got yeah. some free will to do some things that we that we want to do. He, yeah. He, he's given us free will to do what I we want to do. I tried to tell that to the sergeants. They didn't want to hear. They didn't want <laughs> to hear. The, they just said go, go feel the sergeants in the army. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. but that's yeah. a metaphor for the yeah. society. Mm -hmm. Because those sergeants are like the politicians mm -hmm. and the corporate guys and the ones, uh, you know, poli mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah, and I, it's a metaphor. Yeah, but I think we've we given enough rope, enough wiggle room to do what we want to do, to be to, to, to do choices, to make choices. Yeah. And your choice. Yeah. You see, okay. so your choice is according to you what your choice is. is yeah. Your choice is and the consequences uh, occur according to what choices you make. Yeah. I think those things are already uh, preordained in terms of. What's going to happen if you make these choices? You think it's preordained? Are, is it, are we going to make it? What I, I mean, I could ask you, do you think humanity or the evolution, I think of the evolutionary process, that we're going to make it? Or are we going to decide to, we, we got the ability now, technolo it's, you're talking about technological extension of consciousness. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we were in the cave, the, I don't think it was a, I, you know, I, I, th there wasn't enough to eat. I mean, it was grim, wandering around eating a little piece of carrion if we could survive. it was. T I don't see nature as being beautiful and lovely or any time ever in the past or anything like that. Like that would be a Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I think it was just grim. Okay. And it was a, we got to where we'd learn agriculture. So we get some food. You get over the food. You can grow your food. And then the progress comes. Okay. And okay. then we get to the point now we're down with the technology and we now have electric lights. Okay. We didn't have that. Mm -hmm. We didn't have all these things or their comforts, but they're all. And then we get other things that we get and everything, and then it grows. And now we got the capability of, of, um, of supplying uh, the needs and wants reasonable wants of the everybody we got what uh, seven billion people um, and we got that and we got a capability to provide what would be called life support in the fullest sense of the word uh, like a uh, hundred trillion cells in a human organism hundred trillion I think I'm not sure on that you could look it mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. and every cell has an individual capability uh, in, in entity it's people each mm -hmm. person and each one is related to all the others as a system so you can start thinking systems and everything and you can see the evolutionary process now let me ask you this question yes on, on sir that anything one. at all now, I'm rambling are you, know. you fascinated about that sure and now and I'm, uh, I'm motivated by it now isn't that doesn't now when you look at that, mm. doesn't it tell you somebody, something or someone engineered that? This was remarkable. No, no. You just think it's happening by itself. Well, I know. Uh, what I'm saying is that question is not answerable with any historical context like our God did it. No, I'm talking about your, no, talking about your observation of that. When you look at that mm. and you see that, these thousands, you said millions, I think. I, I, what, cells? Yeah, cells. Well, that's the cells in a human yeah, organ yeah. or an adult. But, but what my point yeah. is that that's yeah. working. It's working perfectly. Is working with a purpose, yeah. Right yeah. now, is that to so you that just happening? Is not happening without it. And you see, you see, you see a great, a higher intelligence happening right there. Well, I know what know? I what I say is that I, I, there's a term synergy. You know synergy. Yeah, I know that name. Synergy behavior systems unpredicted by the sum of its parts. Did you ever jam? Do you play instrument? No, you play no. I've seen. Ever jam? I've, I've ever jam. I'm not a musician, so oh, I haven't Oh, no, but you but know I what I mean. It. Yeah, yeah I, I, I used to go down with, uh, yeah, anyway, mm -hmm. I, I like to dance, you mm -hmm. know, and everything. But, uh, you know, it, it, you have a jam session, you got guys playing, or gals, or it's mostly guys, and they're playing, and it's going like this, da, 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 and then when you hit a thing, and you hit it, do you understand? Yeah. It's really moving, mm -hmm. and it's going boom, 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 boom like this, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, somebody over here does the horn, does it, it goes boom, 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 and then they all go to that, so you can move progress and mm -hmm. everything like that. But it's a synergistic resonance. Yeah, how, did, how does this relate? More how does this relate to the cells that you're witnessing? That the you what? observe these cells that you see working like this and observing. 
How, you, well, evolutionarily, what that relate, relates to is the process by which you get an organism or a group getting to a new phase other than that which they have coming from. Mm -hmm. You're coming out of a phase. You're here, do 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 do, and then you get to do 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 do. Okay. Do, do, do. okay. So you get it's called punctuated equilibrium mm -hmm. by uh, Gould and uh, you know Eldridge. But there's and how but the new appears in evolutionary terms. But there is an intelligence going there. You agree? Just no, like, there's no intelligence. But, well, in, the maybe, maybe. but in the jam session, no. there's certain intelligence going well, on. Well, there, no, there's things going on in terms of the context in which the thing, the proponents of the the participants in the process yes, yes. are operating. They're oper We're operating in a certain context, mm -hmm. all right. And what we're at is a time where we're getting to a point and it's going like this. And the thing is, there is a when it's going really new. That's the origin of species. Our okay. species emerge out of other species. We emerge out of, uh, you know, Homo yeah. well, I said erectus. I thought it was Homo habilis. We're all descended African out of Homo erectus. Yes, yes, so true. that's the, all human beings. They mm -hmm. got to a point, and when you get to a point, suppose you get a point where every single human being is operating maximally, not doing what they have to do, or all the all the injustice and everything that exists here, but everybody is liberated mm -hmm. in terms of being able to do what they want to do when they want to, and like a, jam, a gigantic jam session. Mm -hmm. If we do, of the human society, we've got seven billion heading for 10, I guess, or something, and we get that thing, and you have a gigantic jam session, there will be a, a, a resonance, it's called punctuated equilibrium, of the maximally engaged entity coming out of a historical context, got okay, it? Yes. You'd be there, and that will introduce us to a new relationship in the universe, mm -hmm. as all of evolution has done, up the evolutionary line, to another level from which we are coming. We will go away from where we have been to where we're going in a new way, the new, uh, the, uh, a liberated humanity. Okay. We don't have that. It's okay. so truncated. We have that, and that's what we ought to be aiming for, and we don't know, that's synergy. And okay. synergy is the behavior of systems unpredicted by the sum of the parts. There's something more in that residency of an integrated system. You understand? Yes, and a maximally engaged system that will bring you into a new relation. It's called speciation. We may be coming to the end of 200,000 years of the human existence as a species and coming into a new relationship to the universe. Okay. Now, synergy, but it's unpredicted. We don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but it may be God. Okay. But we don't know it. We can't say that there is such a thing. Okay. We can see it all without that uh, yeah. assumption mm -hmm. uh, that is there within the system that all the politicians the, are trying to now, run but, as a way to but, get there. But the believer believe it is God. As you Pardon? Know. The believer. The believer believes that the system yeah. down here is God mm -hmm. or that it's God given or everything. And my God is stronger than your God. And then they fight and they fight and they fight. And we got weapons that can wipe the whole thing out. Well, I'm not talking about fighting. I'm saying just what you, well, what I'm you, saying what, that's what what you described. The believer will say that's God. That's, uh, you know, that that's what the believer well, will no, say. Well, no, the believer is going to say that's God at the lower level. My God is bigger than your God, mm -hmm. and I can conquer you. That's what's going on. That's it what is. the whole history of the world is. It is now it what is. you're talking about is one where the whole humanity, all the dis, all the people like Mr. King talked about, everybody getting in on. Mm -hmm. on Are we the, closing? On, uh, the, okay, so we're coming to I the end. Only tell anyway, that's the book. it. Yeah, we got to talk about the book. The only tell we can get it from. Yeah, the d yeah, where you can get the book from. You can get it at uh, exlibris.com. There you go, exlibris. X-L-I-B-R-I-S, exlibris.com. Uh, you, you can just uh, Google again, the devil and Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. Uh, Yusef Salam, you can get it on Amazon. Yeah. And places like that. All right, yeah. and it's, it's, uh, it's generally available. Oh, yes. Are you going to put it on elsewhere and everything? Uh, uh, again, do you think, is there anything uh, to put it on in Broadway or anything like that? Oh, uh, I don't know yet. I'm, uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm busy promoting it now. Yeah, right. And I'm working on another book, uh, Mr. Muhammad, a children's book. Okay, a uh, children's book, good yeah, for you. Yeah, work, uh, it's done in a poem. Yeah. A quatrain, poetic form. So, you know, uh, I don't Great. Know, I don't have time to be promoting. Thank you, brother. Thank, Thank you. It's good talking good. to you. Good. It's good, 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 talk good to tight. You. Tune in. We'll good be conversation. Back. And so that's it for now. Yes, sir. Thank you. And um, that's it. So I think we can.